Uh, the Spider-Man storyline was, um, so there was the clone uh, saga storyline where, right. where like all of the fake Peter Parkers turned up, <laughs> essentially. Um, and one of the, the things was essentially a guy turned up, I can't remember his name, but was uh, essentially like, I'm the real Peter Parker, you're actually one of the clones. And so P was like, this can't be true. The, you know, I, I'm the original, that's, that's how things are. To which, uh, like, through you know, some evidence and stuff, he was like, no, I'm not, I'm not the real one. I'm a clone. So if you're the real one, then, then you can be Spider-Man. Like, I, I give to you Spider-Man. To which he was like, okay, cool, I'll be Spider-Man then. So Peter just left. Peter went on holiday for like six months <laughs> and just did nothing. Just went on holiday for six months. He and deserved just, a rest. Yeah, just kicked back and relaxed. At which point he then came back and like one of the villains appeared and was just like, ha ha ha, this was all part of my evil plan. You're actually the real one. To which is like, your evil plan was to send me to a beach for six months? It worked well. It's... <laughs> It, it rates up there on the, st uh, like, for me, it's one of the most mind-boggling ones. The only other really, really stupid storyline I can think of is a DC one where uh, Brainiac decided that he wanted a body that was as strong as he was smart. So he was like, I know, I'm going to get Doomsday. Doomsday is like the best body for me to have. Nothing can possibly go wrong with this. I, I know where he is. He's, he's trapped on the moon. I just need someone to go get him. Who should I send? I know, I'll send the Suicide Squad. Because, Perfect. Makes sense. Because the name isn't going to give away any kind of hint of what happens to them when they give, get to the moon. So, but, but Good times. Comics but, and their wonderful plots. It, it's crazy. So uh, welcome to Gamescom. We're here checking out Marvel Heroes and talking to David Brevik from yes. Gazillion and randomly talking about storylines and everything Marvel. So how's Gamescom for you so far? So far, so good. Uh, you know, it's early still. I mean, only only first uh, open day and uh, and second day overall, but uh, going well. Good. So for those that don't know, you are the the head cheese at Gazillion. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the official title, head cheese. The it, no, I am I, I'm the CEO of Gazillion. That's correct. I think head cheese has a better ring. It, it has a better ring. That's for sure. You should go with something like King of All. <laughs> have a have a more comic book style like title. I should. Under it. I should have a comic title. Oh, there you go. I'm going to work on that. So we're checking out Marvel Heroes, Marvel Heroes 2015, because you've yes. rebranded and you're better, faster. You had Stronger, the technology. Faster, exactly. This is the, well, it was more than six million. But the, uh, the <laughs> uh, it is, uh, yeah, it's, we've rebranded the product, uh, Marvel Heroes 2015, kind of celebrating our first anniversary and the start of our kind of second season, if you will, or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, and, yeah, we, the game's changed so much from the initial launch. We've put in so many features and a lot of heroes and many things that we re really felt like it deserved a, you know, a title of its own uh, that kind of separated from where it was at the, a year ago. So to fill those in for people that don't actually know what Marvel Heroes 2015 is, let, let me try this and you see how good I get it. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Marvel Heroes 2015 is an MMO action RPG similar to games like Diablo in that kind of style, but right. based in the Marvel Universe. You end up playing different heroes, there's a massive pool and you're constantly updating it of heroes that you can choose from. You have different costumes for them, so if you want to play a specific Iron Man or a specific Deadpool or Spider-Man or some of the new Guardians characters for example, you right. have those available to you and it's more kind of MMO based in the, the structure of what things that you've got to do, like raids that you've put in now and right. end game content right. and that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's a very good description, very accurate. Uh, it, it is most, first and foremost, it's an action RPG, very yes. much like a Diablo type game, but you play as the Marvel superheroes. And, uh, and itself, it, like you said, it isn't an MMO in terms of, like when you think of an MMO like World of Warcraft, where you're going out and getting quests and picking six apples and killing seven wolves or whatever, you know, and going back and turning them in. It's, it's MMO in structure in that there's thousands of people online in the same world at the same time. Yeah. Th thankfully, there's no killing bears and picking flowers in this. <laughs> no, not in this game. <laughs> so, um, 2015, you've just come out, you've just rebranded it and stuff. What, what is now there? Like, like what have you brought in that, that you're kind of really happy oh about? God. There's so much that we've changed in the last year, it's hard to even really kind of wrap it, your head around it. But the uh, get, Just give us the highlights. Let's see, highlights. I think that one of the most important changes we did was that we changed the way that uh, 
you acquire heroes in the game, that you can play the game now and earn a currency that you can, splinters, that you can buy the heroes that you want. Originally, when the game came out, they were random drops. And, yeah. uh, and you know, so that, that was one major change. Then, from a game feature standpoint, we have uh, many do, new end game modes. You can do the story on different difficulties. We have PvP, we have raids, we have uh, these terminals, we have Midtown Manhattan. Uh, which is kind of an endless mode of yours wandering around and there's a bu bunch of enemies that spawn. There are 10 other people in the zone and you group together bosses kind of, there's boss waves that appear and stuff. Uh, then we have an X defense mode, which is a, a wave battle that gets harder and harder with every single wave until eventually you lose. But uh, as the waves get harder, the rewards get better. And, uh, and then we have uh, uh, another a hollow sim, which is very sim similar to X Defense, but it's for two people instead yeah. of uh, five. And then we have uh, uh, prestiging, and we have uh, many different types of items to chase. Uh, we also have a new uh, item upgrade system. We have synergies, which the more heroes that you have and the more that you uh, level them up, they get different abilities that affect your entire account. Uh, we put in trading. I mean, it's just, the list is unbelievably long. I'm you honest. could just sit here and keep going and <laughs> yeah, going exactly. and going. So how many heroes are there now in the game, roughly? Get uh, rough approximately number. 40 different ones. 40 different classes, basically, you can imagine the mess. Do you remember the number that you launched with? 24? 2? What? I, I think it's, I think it was low I think it was low twenties. Twenty one, sure, twenty two, somewhere sure, right in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure someone correct me, but I believe it was like twenty two. Yeah. So so that that's you know you've added in like eighteen, and you're still going and it's still, still adding going. more in. And we have a lot coming even in the next few months. So it's it's it, it's really fun to add these heroes and and see them come to life in the game. So let, let's talk more about the things that are coming over the few months quickly before we wrap sure. this up. So you've. Guardians of the Galaxy has just come out, and you right. you must be so happy to have <laughs> Guardian stuff already yeah. coming into the game with it. Yeah, yeah, and we just put in uh, Star Lord, and we already had Rocket Raccoon. He was in from the yeah. launch as playable heroes, and then we also have team ups of of Drax and Gamora and Groot, and uh, and so all the Guardians are represented in the in the game now, and they even have they have comic costumes as well as movie costumes. So, you know, whatever your fancy, it's, we, we have, it, there's plenty to choose from. <laughs> so what else can players expect uh, a little bit further into the future? Is there anything that you can tell us? Yeah, there's juicy a few details things on? that are kind of coming up. A Rogue is a new hero that comes out this, this month. Really super excited about her. She can steal power from any single enemy or a player in the entire game. Uh, so it's kind of, in a lot of ways, make your own hero. Uh, and then uh, we have... Uh, a couple new modes coming out. We have a, a new one shot of one story, kind of a side story uh, about the uh, lizard and Hyde and their and they're, they've gone into the Bronx Zoo and taken over. L and Lizard and Hyde's trip to the zoo. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and, and so you'll be thwarting those plans in no time. And then we have a, a new end game mode called, well, it's not just end game, but a leveling up uh, mode uh, called the Brooklyn Patrol that's very much like Midtown Manhattan, but with yeah. quests, kind of public quests that you do together and, uh, and waves and things like that. And then... Um, and then we have achievements coming, and uh, and then you know later this fall and, and into the winter we're going to be doing a whole bunch of fun things as well as uh, uh, we have the villains are going to be coming. So uh, let, let, let's try and th think of something to ask before we wrap this up. Is there a hero currently not in the game that you personally would really like to have in the game? Can you, can you think of one off the top of your head? Like one of your favorites? Well, I mean, one of my favorites that I'm looking forward to is Venom. So I, I, he's not technically in it. He is announced and et cetera, et cetera. But he's definitely one that I'm su really looking forward to. Uh, I'd say probably after that, um, you know, the most requested we get is probably Iceman. I'm looking forward to him being in the game. And, uh, and let's see. But someday maybe we'll do somebody like Howard the Duck. <laughs> so, so how much how, how much requests have you had for Venom going in? Oh, he, Venom and Carnage are like the, I ask nearly daily. People are asking me about them. So, what about Winter Soldier? Winter Soldier also very very popular. Ask and he is going to be coming to the game. 
That, that's that's <laughs> quite interesting to hear because Bucky is one of my favorites. Yeah, he's going to be fun. We have a whole bunch of uh, really great ideas for him in his builds. So if people want to find out a bit more about the game or pick it up, where do sure. you recommend they go to? Uh, go to marvelheroes.com and you can just download it and play. Brilliant. And also it's available for uh, PC and Mac now as well. So. You uh, you mentioned to us off camera that you uh, are also very kind of ha hands on. Yes, stream. absolutely, I do. I stream on Twitch. You can go to the Jungle Queen on Twi on Twitch. That's my wife's account. Actually, we stream through her official account, and uh, and so we play together, and we invite a lot of people from the community to play with us, and we stream probably three or four times a week. So there you go. If you want to yell at him to get Venom into the game sooner or to get Carnage in, yes, go, you go can there. also follow me on Twitter at David Brevik, and I will uh, and I respond to a lot of tweets. So, well, David, Thanks. thank you very much for giving us some of your time, and thank you very much for letting us check out Marvel Heroes. It looks really good. Thank and you. It's come so far. Yes. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate the time. Cheers.